about you're live thank you hello and welcome to the newest episode of mary what do you see we're the only show on the internet that is dedicated not only to teaching you educating enlighten you but also helping you we're going to help you find people and we've got a big show today we're not going to bury the headline we're going to talk about we've got some uh, some big updates on a case that we've uh, We've been all been wrong about for 25 years, but let's first introduce Ooh. the people who are going to help us. First, I want to introduce to you my co-host down here to my lower right. That way. Oh, this is uh... <laughs> my directions. <laughs> this is my co-host, my amigo. She's going to be helping me. She's helping you bring our world, bring your world into our world today. So she's talking to me down the chat today. Say hello to my co-host Brooke. Hello, you guys. So happy to be here. Hey, Brooke. Happy to have you, Brooke. Hi, Mary. Hi. But let's talk about it's Nice our... to see you. It's nice to see you, too. I always love your face. Oh, thank you. But I want to thank talk you, about our you. resident psychic today. We have, we're psychically super powered on this show. We have one of the top psychics. No, no, no. The top psychic in the world today, Whoa. as far as I know. The worst one I've ever seen. The best one I've ever seen. She loves to help find your missing people. She likes to reunite people and give you closure. And that's what we're here to do today. So if you've got in the studio audience, you've got some mysteries to solve, get them ready for her. But first, I want to say hello to the number one psychic in the world, Mary, the medium. Hello, Mary. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. How are you, Mary? You feeling good today? Yeah. I'm like, where's the camera on this iPad? <laughs> I've been like I'm like looking off into space every week and I can't figure out where it is on here. But anyway, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we're getting, some, we're getting our iPad figured out, folks. But uh, you know, I, actually, before we do anything, let's just get into it. I think we've got something to you know really big to talk about today. 2002, Modesto, oh. California. I'm gonna put it, bring you the stage. We got a story we probably all know about. 2002 on Christmas Eve. Lacey Peterson, she was an eight-month pregnant woman. He's pictured here with her husband, Scott, went missing. Uh, Scott was not a great husband. Scott had was having an affair. Scott lied. And Scott eventually was uh, tried, and he was convicted for her murder. Uh, Scott Peterson uh, was on death row for a while. He actually got an appeal off a of death row, but he's still doing life in prison. Uh, and... Scott Peterson, his case has been taken up by the Innocence Project. There's been some momentum in getting him a new trial. Here's Lacey Peterson. And um, everyone's rethinking Scott a little bit. So I, there's so much going on in this case. Here's Scott today. He's got quite a few years on him. But uh, just wanted to, uh, I think Mary has, a, has an idea what's going on here. So Mary, his appeal, what do you think's going on here? What do you think about Scott Peterson? What do you see? Okay, so I saw a white van. I saw tools inside of it. I saw blood. I saw a trailer park. I saw a man with hair to write about here. Have you guys ever watched that show Top Gear and James May has no. hair to write about here? But this guy's hair is really kind of scraggly. He wore glasses. He um, was kind of like, uh, like the local hippie, never kind of grew out of the hippie kind of thing. Um, uh, did some landscaping, did some handyman repair, did a lot of fishing, um, lived by an inlet. Where okay, let's know, uh, let's back up, slow down. We we're talking okay, about you, you see a white van and you see a man, you're, you're thinking this is ultimately the person responsible for her disappearance and her, yes. her murder. Yes, I do. So she was taking it in a white van, and you've got a picture of this guy. I, I, yeah, and I got a picture of him in my head. He, and, like, kind of scruffy glasses, um, th uh, thick glasses. And his hair is like a, um, like a blondish brown and um, hair parted in the middle right here. It's like he hadn't brushed his hair in a few days. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice until whammo, he changes. Um, hmm. really, and uh, like, I mean, just like violent anger, super, super nice guy, but you can see behind the eyes there's something else going on. 
So he's and... a guy that would fool you, and he's got uh, you know a dark side or a, oh, a, a, very, very a Mr. Very. Hyde, if you will. Yeah, right. Yeah, but he had a white cooler or a blue cooler, white and blue cooler. I'm saying cool a cooler, cooler. and he ha would have and he would frequent this bait shop. So this is the guy. Everybody thinks he did it because he was having an affair to get her out of the way. No, I mean his wife was pregnant. You know. Yeah, I think yeah. that um, I think Scott he certainly convicted himself of being a terrible person, a terrible husband, yeah. and I think that really hurt him uh, ultimately. But he he was lying, telling his uh, his girlfriend that you know that he his wife died. I think he was telling Amber Fry that was his uh, his his squeeze. Yeah, yeah. And she was working for the police the whole time. So I think he hung himself with his, his lies. But, uh, yeah, there, there, there's I, not a whole not lot of physical evidence that they he, had to, to tie no, him to it. This so, guy, this different guy killed her. So you, you got a different guy. Okay, so let's uh, talk about, you said that something about a trailer park. Yeah. Right? Like, I oh. see, okay, it's almost like a camper kind of thing and so it looks like you're entering into a trailer park and there are bushes right here and you can see like half of a trailer okay, or maybe I, I, it's a super old florida super super old wherever this was home but i think it's a, a, a trailer park Talk about a few yeah. miles away from their home, like the yes, probably because yes. I did a little research after after like talking 1. Um, 1. about 1. this. 1.2 or two, 1.2. Uh, I'm getting 1.7 miles away, 1.2 okay. to 1.7 miles away from home. I could be wrong on that, but all right, so I, I've got something here. Okay, so I've got uh, I looked up their home in Modesto, California, and I've mapped. We've got a trailer park. I mean, there's several in the area. This is a, a larger one. They've got some smaller ones, but this is the one. Um, I think it, it probably best fits what you're talking about. Now, driving distance, this is about uh, a little under three miles. Let me put this up on the screen uh, so I can kind of share what I'm talking about. But this is a trailer park that is... As the crow flies, probably um, within your 1.2 to 1.7. But uh, this is the. Are you kidding me? This is the map from the Covena, Covena Avenue, Avenue here. That, that is, is uh, that, that would be uh, in the upper right of the clip. That would be the, the home of Lacey and Scott Peterson, where she was disappeared. And the blue takes you down to the to the uh, the Driftwood Trailer Park. So that is. Really, the closest trailer park to that home, relatively yeah. large trailer park, and it is. Um, yes. It, it's I, as the crow flies, At, I, one and a half a doubt, miles roughly. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you think this is where that guy lived doubt. somewhere in the Driftwood Trailer Park? Yes. Potentially, I mean, there are a few smaller little uh, rinky-dink trailer parks, but this is the only real substantial one close to that. And that's the closest one to the home. So okay. that's kind of what we're thinking is it's a, the, the suspect. Wait, I don't like to interrupt her because there's something coming through. But Driftwood okay, Trailer so Park. So he think? wore flowery shirts to write about here. Okay, flowery shirts. He had a cup, he had a bead, bead or two, a bead necklace, like wooden beads or something. His shirt is always untucked, always untucked. Do you have any any thoughts as to what he was after or why the reason that he targeted Lacey? I just think he he snapped. Um, he had a girlfriend who had blonde curly hair. This man did, um, and she was probably um, probably in her forties. He looks to be at the time of this happening, about 47, 40, 43, 47. So he's mid-40s, and this was almost 25 years ago. So he would be, I mean, he'd be near 70. Yeah. Ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Is yeah. he still Is he still alive, this, uh, yes. this yes. asshole, I'm not afraid to say? Yeah. Yes, he is. He is still alive. Um, try Anything on... Uh, his trailer, his home, anything you can see it's, about it's yeah, okay. So the trailer, he he parked there's it's funny, there's a truck parked in the driveway. So I don't know where this van, unless the van is the second car, but there's this old truck parked in the driveway, but but right in front, 
and it's dark tinted glass windows with a black, probably metal, you know, the frame that frames windows. It's black. It's just a thin strip of black okay. that goes across. Gray, gray, uh, gray metal, and then um, um, tinted. It's like the gray shutters. Gray shutters, tinted um, windows. Um, there's a big bush right there on the left-hand side when you just pull up. It's like the driveway is really short. Like it, the road is right here. You pull, it's just enough room for maybe two cars or maybe a truck, a van, or a golf cart. But okay, I'm going to put up on the screen. I'm going to blow up that. Mary? I'm going to blow up that Brooke. Mary, um, there was a guy that was, well, apparently a bunch of pregnant women were disappearing around that time. Is this correlated? Yes, it is. So there's other victims that this guy yeah, responds before. Yeah, there was. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he goes to in, um, in a, the a pool too, hall. Something about a, devil worship. A pool hall. A pool oh. hall. Okay, look where that green is, where your arrow is right there. Okay, it's like right on here? a corner. Yeah, like on a corner. Okay. Go, okay, go down. Okay, go down. Go down. Like on a corner, and there's a, there's a, a, but the the trailer, how I'm seeing it is face on, like the road runs by it, and you're driving by the face, the front of the trailer. Oh, so it's turned sideways, not like the ones I'm looking at, right? I mean, potentially, if you look at the one on the right here over on that, that one would, would fit yeah. the description or one of these maybe. Or yeah. one, maybe one of these on this side, on the corner right. here, because I think that yeah, would be on the, the face corner. of on the, the trailer. So maybe one of these corners here. You're thinking maybe right. this block? I, I mean, I, I can certainly figure out who was living in those trailers uh, you know, at the time. I can get some names for you, I'm sure. Let, let me blow this up. See that great big bush right there? on the As you go around towards on the right-hand side, there's a big green bush. Yeah, right there. That? So, yeah. And so, but it, it cut. Excuse me, I have to. <laughs> excuse me. Um, but the trailer covers. This, thank you. The bush covers part of the trailer like that do you think that kind of fits the description of what you're seeing um kind of, where yeah. with the, the, the pickup truck where's the pickup truck parked when you see in it though uh right next to the bush so the pickup truck's kind of over here in this in this area this is where this gray pickup truck is well if i flip this i can't flip it around you see where the bush is right there okay look at yeah. the bush and then Look. just go up to 11 o'clock. Up to 11 You see the roof right there? Right there. Yeah. See that? See that bush right there? Okay. So, so the pickup truck, I see him where he just pulls right in. He pulls right there on the left. Oh, it pull, kind of pulls and kind of parks it maybe here or here? Uh, yeah. Um, to go up, go up a little bit higher. Go up a little bit higher. I wish I had a mouse. I could help you there. Um, as the road curves. Here? Okay. So he, he, yeah. pulls, he pulls in in front of the trailer. But there's a... Now, how old is this photo? This photo is recent. Uh, uh, yeah. 20, this is actually 2024. So, yeah, this is Google, Google Maps. They okay. So, what we're regular. looking for is a trailer that has a bush covering the front uh left part of the the front of the trailer and okay, so obviously potentially this one we look we wouldn't be it because the bush would be closer to to, to here right. this is, I think, oh, the trailer shit. is right. edges here so that okay. one maybe doesn't fit the bill 
Um, but yeah, I mean, this is the Driftwood Trailer Park in Modesto, California. If anybody out there wants to play sleuth, um, yeah, you, you would be more than welcome and, and throw some stuff back at us because I'm certainly going to play with this when we get I've done. Got so. a, I've got a question from someone in the chat. Um, okay. some, Gabby wants to know, does this man work? Did this man work for them in the restaurant that they owned because they were restaurateurs? He, he was doing plumbing. He, he did some sort of either electrical or he did... Um, um, a fix it repair. Okay, so this guy was a, a plumber or a, a you know, yeah, a, he was a handyman, like handyman. So, services. Mary, do you think that he was like stalking her, or was this what was this about? There's something he hated his mo I, I feel like this man was a Oh, hello, where, where are you? I feel like this man was abused in his life. I feel like. He has an extreme hatred for women, especially pregnant women. He has a hatred for them, but I can't get past. I can't. Mm. Yeah. And um, so Lacey, I'm getting Lacey. Um, I think she knew about his affair. She was lonely. I'm getting so lonely. Mm. Um Oh man, a lot of despair there. A lot. Well, um, yeah, it certainly would be desperate uh, having a baby in a month with a husband that's never uh, there. Definitely checked checked out to say the least. Yeah, well, he's a liar. Not he's a cheater, not um, a murderer, right? He's a liar. No, I'm. A he didn't. He didn't. I am saying Scott Peterson. So he, I mean, he spent twenty five years, the last twenty five years in prison, and he he, he was well. Everybody to... was everybody was so ready to convict him because he was having an affair. Yeah, oh, it, it looked terrible. But... He also was saying that she was dead when she wasn't dead, like to cover up his affair. Yeah, so that, that, that looks really bad. Yeah, that was yeah. hard to explain. But yeah. he, he was a bad person. That that's really the answer. Well, he he wanted out of all of the responsibility. Okay. In my in my opinion, I think the the police did a, did him an injustice by releasing so much information on a case with so much uh, publicity about where he was fishing, about where the body would, and suddenly the body ended up exactly where he was. But but see, the what's so funny would is have known. Because he's yeah, the, the killer would have known. They put an X on the, they put an X on the screen right where he was fishing. This is where he left, and this is where he was fishing. Yep. So all someone had to do was, hey, we got this body. Let's get rid of it in the water and make it look like it was him. So it, had the police not done that, yeah, it would have looked way worse if the body ended up where he was fishing. But so this handyman, fact, anybody fishes. could have known that it. This handyman fishes, okay. Mm -hmm. He fishes. He has coolers. I saw coolers. This handyman fishes. Did he snatch Lacey while she was out jogging, or how, how did he grab her? Uh, I can't see that yet. Um, who had the golf? Did they have a golf cart? Yep. Yeah, I was going to say she was walking the dog. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, one of the neighbors found the dog loose in the neighborhood yeah. and put yeah. it in the backyard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. she'd gone. That's through. when he got her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and there had been several neighbors who claimed to have seen, seen Lacey walking, walking the, dog, the dog, and this was well after Scott would have been long gone, and there's no yeah. chance. So had she yeah. had these neighbors yeah. uh, confirmed they had seen her or made them believe it, then it would have never been a case. So yeah. there, there's certainly reasonable doubt in this case, but you're saying that absolutely this guy is uh, on on trial because he he had an affair. That's essentially yeah. what he did. Yeah, wrong. yeah, yeah. America wanted to convict a bad, I mean, because, you know, whenever there's a bad dad, you know, or soon to be father, America's ready to convict him. I'm sorry, we are, you know. And yeah, it's, um, I think some of uh, the TV pundits get on this, get on TV and just confirm this person is evil and they did it. And here's all the yeah. reasons they did it. And, and he the, looked so guilty on he here. He looked terrible. Didn't he? Looked didn't terrible. he? Yeah. I, think so. you know, the, I mean, the, I think deep in his heart, he wished she would have gone away, 
because all this responsibility, a new baby is cutting into his lifestyle. He just wanted to sow some more wild oats. Oh, he was a selfish asshole for sure. I mean, there's no question about it. I mean, he's not a good person, but I I don't, I don't yeah. think that they necessarily approve that a reasonable doubt. They were counting on this it. other guy. I, uh, There's something else. Aubrey though. in the chat, she's our moderator. She said, uh, we were a clown show. We're a clown show. Nancy Grace convicted him. It's pretty, like, just kind of like when Nancy Grace gets involved. Oh, yeah. Everybody's yeah. going down. When I wasn't going to pound on Nancy Grace. But, you know, we got a lot of crap. I like her. We got a lot of crap uh, with, two weeks ago when, uh, when, yeah. when Mary said that, hey, I mean, Nancy Grace said, "Oh, this this Kohlberg guy's guilty, and he here's all the reasons." And yeah, she's so sure of herself, not. and all of America it basically threw. We got a lot of hate from that show, but hey, yeah, no, know, it wasn't. It was, it was the black guy. Himself. It was the white guy with dark hair, the drug dealer, and another guy that killed because those kids, as much as America wants to say, "Oh, they were beautiful sweethearts." You know, well, for, uh, for you know, kind of thing. I'm sorry, they were dealing America is, drugs. Is, America is full of people who are experts. Right after they watch the news, they watch the news, and then all of a sudden, they're experts in criminology. Yeah. They're experts in yeah. virology. I know. Yeah, Arm, you... armchair experts. You know. <laughs> okay, let's. Yeah, what do I investigators? Know. Because we watch Dateline. Yeah, right. yeah, we watch yeah. a lot of murder porn, right? Yeah, let's right. let's move on. I got uh, I got one more case. Um, if anything more comes up on Scott and Lacey, uh, you know, yeah, uh, this guy throw it out nipples, there, Mary, the but... mailbox, the mailbox, mailbox. Um, the mailbox. Okay, it's a black mailbox, gold lettering maybe. Um, but I'm seeing a dolphin. I'm seeing a dolphin. Dolphin? A dolphin, yeah, like yeah. a por, you know, like a porpoise flipper dolphin. I mean, near the mailbox, like there was a lawn you know, somewhere ornaments. on that trailer mailbox. Oh, on the trailer, this is okay. On the, his trailer, his trailer, where he I mean, was. His living. trailer has a, a black mailbox, gold lettering, and it's there's a dolphin ornament somewhere, person. somewhere. Whether it's on that trail, I just saw dolphin. Dolphin. Okay. Maybe that'll, hey, that could be the telltale sign. (laughs) Do you think that this guy is still in the area, Mary? No. No, he's moved out of Modesto. Arizona. Arizona. Oh. I'm getting, it's hot, it's desert-like. So yeah. this would be interesting to find out. I mean, Modesto's pretty warm, I think, isn't it? I'm, I'm not sure. It yeah, is. yeah, California. yeah. But this is more, more, more uh, desert looking. Like maybe it could be Palm Desert. I've been to Palm Desert, so it could be more out in the desert area. There's a lot of places people can hide out there. A lot. This dude's in his seventies now, so I. So you know. not okay, maybe not Arizona, but Spirit just said Arizona. Okay, so I mean, the very first thing that Spirit shows me, I have to go with, because mm-hmm. when I start putting Mary's own thoughts into it, I'll it will get torn astray. Spirit said Arizona. It's and that could be a symbol for desert-like appearance, which could be. The closest area to Modesta. How far away is Palm Desert? In, uh, in, uh, in Indrio? How far away is that area from Modesta? Palm Desert? Yeah, Palm Desert, California. Uh, Modesto to Palm Desert? Cathedral so City, Palm Desert. We are talking about, by car, that trip would be... Oh, that'd be a six and a half hour trip. So Modesto's up closer to San Jose. That's up in Northern California. Palm Desert. Yeah, you're way down there. Um, yeah. You're closer to Death Valley or you know Las Vegas when you're up from Modesto. He's so. in the desert. He's in a He's in the small desert. What about desert. The, what about the dolphin mailbox? That uh, she said that she saw a black mailbox, gold lettering, and something a dolphin, like a dolphin ornament or this something. This is in ha- his house. This is the trailer park that the. This uh, the, was yeah. The, 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 yeah. Yeah. And he had fishing poles. I think he just chucked it in. 
I, I think he may have lived alone. I keep seeing this blonde with curly hair around her, around him. She had a hook nose um, around him. And I think mm -hmm. he just up and left. She never okay. found out why he left. And oh, so she's not with him anymore. Huh? And he's no, no, she's not. No, she's oh. not. But I'm getting out in the desert. He just up and skipped town left. He just split, huh? Well, he's he got just, other crap to answer for. So uh, we're we're officially on the hunt for another one because uh, I want to see this. I mean, Scott doesn't deserve uh, if he genuinely no. Didn't life, he didn't. Scott Peterson did him, not kill did to not lose kill Lacey. The best part no. of his life. It's not fair. No. So, he did yeah, not. Yeah, I mean, kill we're, we're disconnected though from that child and from her. He, he's a oh, bad. Yeah. Person. He probably oh. would have been a bad father, but he's not. A murderer that deserves. I think to spend he would that. have divorced yeah. her shortly after the kid was born, if not before. Yeah, I, I just he he wasn't feeling it. Okay. He, he did, yeah. Well, what's uh what's next? We have. Yeah, let's move on. Um, let's let's move to another case. Okay, this is another case that, that Mary, I know you're pretty familiar with. So we're going to get to some uh, mystery cases here at the end of the show. But I want to put up on stage. Uh, I want to put up. Uh, this is Jessica Stacks. So yeah, Jessica Stacks. I it. it Really, it's it's a uh, a dirty story. So there's Jessica. So Jessica, yeah. um, she was a 27 year old mother of three. Um, it looked like maybe she had a life going pretty well till she met this uh, gentleman. Uh, this gentleman's name is Jerry Baggert. Now Jessica is 27. Jerry's 45. And they decided to be uh, be a romance together. So Ugh. they decided to get together. What? Uh, well, so yeah, he's a, he's he's a creep. And not only yeah yeah uh, I. From what I've heard, from what I've, I mean, this is speculation speaking from her mother who has talked a lot. She cares. That mother cares. Uh, yeah, her mother yeah. has said that uh, he basically got her into drugs, into needle drugs. And right. that's, you know, yeah. if you look at her progression, her picture, she does get kind of uh, doesn't, you know, as she goes on, she looks a little worse for the wear. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, Jessica. Uh, so the story goes, this is Jerry's story. The Jessica, these are needle drug uh, junkies. New Year's Day in 2021, they decide at uh, six in the morning or probably five, they're going to go. Uh, hunting with a boat on a flooded river um, because right. hogs get tra trapped uh, in flooded rivers. Apparently that's true. I don't know. The Tallahatchie River. So he goes hunting with her. They decide uh, to get launch a boat without a motor or oars. They had some shovels to push the boat along and they were just going to float down the river and mm -hmm. shoot at hogs. Um, the boyfriend said the boat got leaky. He said uh, this was a couple hundred feet away from where they launched it they pulled the boat onto a sandbar and emptied the boat out and for some reason the girl got out and started walking toward the road and he was in the boat and it floated away and he lost her so then he went back couldn't find her um so yeah she had never been seen again and they found a couple of footprints where she had gotten off and they found an old boot that belonged to her and some clothes but never had seen her they had cadaver dogs and they've looked for her for years and there's been no sign of her so this case i mean the story um it doesn't really um sound mm -hmm. plausible mm -hmm. but uh, i mean mary what do you see <laughs> okay so uh let me tell you what spirit showed me in the very beginning and i'm trying to find my out my photo album um there was another girl the okay you see where she is you see that background okay yep. so there was another girl that was sleeping with her boyfriend the girl's name starts with a c okay. crack horse c okay and i see that um this girl whose name starts with the c um cut jessica's hair boom 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 as a way of you bitch you know you think you're so pretty with your long hair i mean seriously this girl was a crack whore not jessica but this other girl okay there is video of jerry getting gas at a gas station and everybody thinks it's jessica in the front seat uh-uh it's the yeah, crack whore right. seat crack whore is in the front seat with him Jessica's body 
is actually in the um, boat. In the in the uh, okay. 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 Like, that's that. What it sounded like to me is, and that's what her family said is, they didn't believe that she was actually the one in the car, but that was more of establishing an alibi. It because, was yeah, not you can't her. see yeah. her at all. Yeah. No. You see a girl lean out with the ball cap on. That was not Jessica. That was Crack Horse C. Okay. Crack Horse C. Okay. Yeah. I want to do a little bit more. Okay. So and Crack she, Horse C. I don't really see anybody in the case that would would qualifies quite accuracy, but let's talk about some of the yeah, people involved yeah, in this see, case. I'll be glad. So I've got, okay, so Jerry Baggard. Okay, so Jerry has some druggy friends they're partying with on New Year's Eve. Um, one of them was right. named Barbie Floyd. So Barbie Floyd is a admitted drug user. She said she had given a, uh, she had given uh, a, a, a clean okay, needle so, to her. Okay, but, so let me tell you what Spirit showed me. Je they showed me Jessica in this trailer. Okay, in this trailer, partying, and the next thing I see is, and this was Barbie Floyd's trailer. Come to find out, I I I went through this case with a fine tooth comb. This was Barbie Floyd's trailer that they were partying at the property, and now Barbie Floyd went AWOL. Nobody can find her now. Okay. They were partying at her trailer, an empty trailer, her mother's trailer. That's where they were partying. And then the next thing I know, um, and there's two other guys, there's Crack Horsey and there's that Baggert, Biggert, what's his name? Um, the, we're the, looking the at maybe um, uh, Billy Jack Rogers. Is that my you talking about? That is who... Um, Barbie Floyd, um, she essentially said that Billy Jack Rogers and Jerry Baggert were the ones who, uh, Jerry. killed her. Yep. Um, she, her story isn't clear. She admittedly was, uh, extremely strung out at the time. And that's why cops didn't right. really take her story seriously. And but, they should yeah, have, they, they, should, they have. should not have. And Crack Horse C was there when it happened. Crack Horse C is the one who cut her hair off. But let me tell you where they put her body, okay? okay? Okay, so they found her long blonde hair, okay? They found mm -hmm. some clothes that belonged to her. I saw they got into a boat. It was a large river. What's the name of the river you mentioned? It was the uh, Tata, it's one of those Indian names. Tallahatchie River, yes. Tallahatchie oh. River. They went up the Tallahatchie River, and there's a tiny little offshoot on the right-hand side because I'm standing where Jessica was in the water, and I'm looking far away, and I can see this large body of water and a boat go by. So she was showing me she was an offshoot of the Tallahatchie River. like, And there's okay. a piece of, if you, if you are... And I can't, I don't know which direction, but if you're going down the Tallahatchie River, you're going to make a right and you're going to go down. It just looks like a bayou swamp, bayou swamp. They get out, they get out on the right hand side. There's a bank there. And on this bank was a shovel was found. Her hair was found and her clothes were found. I drew a sketch of it, a law. Uh, about two years ago, when I first took this case, I drew a sketch of where her body was. Okay, so the they, the police, had, right after it happened, right full, where he, the boy shit. Jerry said it was, they found the boot and something from her. Is this the same area you're talking about? Yes, I, yes, it is. Same area I drew a sketch of. Yes, it is. They found a shovel. They found a boot, they found some of her clothes, mm -hmm. and they found her long blonde hair. Oh, I didn't, I didn't hear about the long blonde hair. I, oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So you're thinking she is somewhere not too far from there on an offshoot of that river, like a, a yes. tributary of the yes. of the Tala, yes. Tallahatchie River. Yes. It's an offshoot of that river. Is what you're it saying. is, yeah. Is because she buried... I thought she was buried because she's standing there. Okay, so directly across from her are these tall reeds, like a marshy grass patch. And then if she looks to her left, here's the, the river. The big river is right there. 
and the boats are going by on that river. The boats are going by. And she's like, I can't get there. So she's close enough to the, the Tallahatchie River uh, oh, yeah, to yeah, be seeing yeah. it. So she, it's, she's yeah. not far from the Tallahatchie. She's really not far, if, if this is what you're describing, she's not far from where she was last reported seen. Which right. and these these guys are idiots. I mean, these guys are drug addicts. These, and guys, morons. these guys are I mean, bad, bad news. And yeah, they're they they're it? terrible people. I mean, it seems yes, like they, they, they got this girl it. in the world of trouble. I mean, her mom blames them for for getting her hooked on drugs and all this stuff. Um, yeah. yeah, her mom is. I've I've watched quite a bit of her. She is. Uh, the, the, I hope if I ever go missing that someone is that that uh, I, I uh, promise them dedicated. I was coming out in the spring. Let me show you one thing. Them. This is one thing she put together. There uh, they are. There they here's, are. Here's pictures of Jerry, Billy, Jack, and then Jerry's son, Hunter. For some reason, she believes he's involved. I think the people have talked or the, there's video and, that she and shared. And Crack Horse C. Can, Crack let Horse me, C. Let me give okay. you her name. Her name is, so, so Spirit showed me Candace. Her name is Candy. And yes, she is involved. She's the one who cut Jessica's hair. So you're thinking Jerry, Candy, and Billy Jack here yep. are the ones yep. that... Uh... Yep, yep, okay. absolutely. 100% had something to do with her murder. I will say it, that's coming from Spirit. Spirit showed me it was those three. And Candace was driving drunk or high or whatever and hit and killed somebody so she's in jail right now or maybe she's gotten out but she was yeah oh. sue don't sue me honey sue spirit sue sue jessica because jessica's the one that told me you guys killed her <laughs> good luck with up that. The screen, this is a picture of crack the only picture i have of crack horse c as you call call her, That's her. this is the That's her. it was it essentially horse was the last known image what was thought to be uh, of jessica I've alive but you're thinking it's caged I've got, got another one. I've got another, another one. one. I'm trying to find the, I am trying to find the photo album. Yeah. As much yeah. as I've looked at the pictures at the gas station, you can definitely see the man. He, you can make him out, but in no way. And, and it's almost looks like the person in the car was trying not to get uh, seen, but right. you're thinking it's crack horse C. It's crack horse C. Crack yeah. horse C. <laughs> okay. Lovely. So here we go. Let me send you the pictures. Characters I'm going to send only. you this picture. Her name is Candace Cooper. Um, Andy Cooper. So let me, yeah. Oops. Oops. You want it to email? Email. Is that better for you, Jeff? Sure. All right. Reverend Cal. Reverend Cal. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Cooper. Okay. This is Jeff Holbrook. Okay. Let me attach. Yeah. This. Before, I, uh, yeah. I was actually. Let me throw more thing up on the screen. This is another. Uh, from i believe jessica stack's account i think her mother is running all these accounts but uh, she said billy jack told wayne baggett that would be uh oh jerry wayne that was the boyfriend he needed to call the law at 5 p.m um this is on new year's eve so there's there's from what the, the a lot of people are saying she was definitely deceased before new year's day oh yeah uh, she and, was oh yeah she was dead two days before they even said she was dead. She she died two days before. They stuffed her body okay. in that boat. Okay, that's where they put her body. They're at the mm -hmm. gas station. They're going to dispose of her body. If you go back to that video, that photo that you just showed of the girl peeking out of the truck, look at the front of the boat. The Or you can't really see it. She is, the boat is behind this truck. Okay, and... Um, she's in the boat dead. Her body's in the boat. Okay. So she's, a, she's there, but she's in the boat, not in the car. That's what we're right. thinking. No, Her, she's yeah, dead. We've gotten, yeah. uh, I, yeah. the, honestly, the police are, looks like they're moving forward. They're going to move forward with the prosecution with some of these people <gasps> and try to get I some of them so. to turn on each other. Um, I'm sure they'd be much happier if they had a body that it's hard to convict a murder without a body, but yeah. I think one of these dumbasses is going to turn on them, turn on each other. And then, then it's all over, but it sounds like the police um, there's movement to move it forward uh, to, to right. prosecution without the body. So uh, let's do what we can. Uh, if her body is that close to where uh, Mary says it is, then, or, or spirit says as bar, then uh, let's go find it. Um, because I, I want to see these guys punished. These, uh, they, they took oh, this yeah, girl, they're her out and murdered her. Like she was a sag of, 
you know, sack of rocks. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah and, her and, mother and needs Candace. justice. And I feel I, I listen to her mother. She's got passion. Um, that woman, that poor she, mother. she is battling for this girl's uh, memory or for her uh, closure. It's just, it needs to happen. So I uh, don't know how, how, how more I can help. Um, obviously I'll try to dig in more after this and Mary, if you see any more, but yeah, let's stay after this one and help. Uh, let's help. We got another asshole to catch her. Several of these Billy, Jack and Jerry. Okay. And so this is, see. let's get them. But let's uh, let's let's get, let's get these people, man. These are awful people. So I, I got a couple of cases. These are just kind of across my desk in the last week. Um, just uh, oh. some women that I think need some help from you. So let's move on. Um, so are these got, from viewers? Wait, no, no, these are just ones that I found. Um, just uh, cases that seem kind of sketchy. So I want to bring on the stage. This is uh, this is Brianna. Um, Brianna Brianna Winston. Uh, she. J has gone missing something strange happened here this is brianna another picture of her she gone missing she has a child um and the, the, you know, the child's father and her they don't have a good relationship the child's father he uh you know he's not he's you know not a great guy but she disappeared and hadn't hasn't been seen uh, i believe for almost a week at this point um strangest thing though is her apartment was somehow completely cleaned out moved out uh, before the, she was even reported missing. So they, um, nothing was left in her apartment and no one can explain what happened. They did find a bag behind the apartment uh, with her shoes in it that smelled of bleach. And there's yeah. really been no other trace of, of Brianna. Um, it doesn't, doesn't smell good here. I mean, it doesn't, um, doesn't yeah. sound like we have a good ending, but uh, Mary, what do you say? No, you don't. She's been dead for a month before um, before anybody said anything, she had been gone. I'm being shown one month, one month, one month. And they disposed of her body. Uh, I kept seeing a trash bag luggage. Um, uh, so, so in a, maybe in a landfill, landfill, oh, landfill. Okay. Yep, so they claim, um, they it, it's almost the uh, kind of, it's almost, it's almost kind of passe to ask at this point, but uh, do you think the, uh, the the baby, the baby's or her baby's father is responsible? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I'm digging into this dude yes, trying to figure out some more information. Um, it's been pretty, uh, yeah, but she's got uh, her her baby's. Apparently, he is currently under indictment for um, for check fraud or for uh, money order fraud. Um, yeah, definitely yeah. criminal, and he has they have a tumultuous mm -hmm. relationship. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so he, he, but you're thinking landfill or something like that, some maybe through yes. the trash. Yes, oh, fuck. landfill. Yep, landfill. Uh, I'm trying to get anything we can ask that might help catch this dude because it. It's red like, dirt. I mean, it sounds like an so open and shut, she? but we where need where more. is she? Was she in the south? Did this happen? At, well, no, where did this happen? Yeah, I think this was, uh, down, yeah. I think this was uh, down in Georgia. Let me see what city. Red uh, yeah, Dirt. in Clayton Red County. Dirt. Cobb County, Georgia. Red, Red Dirt. County, Georgia, I'm sorry. But yeah, it's Georgia. Red Dirt. Uh, landfill with Red Dirt sides. <laughs> sides. Sides of the landfill have Red Dirt. Yep. Yep. Hmm. So I mean, she's, so, I mean, she's did buried in a, in a landfill. Did her, well, I mean, I, did her boyfriend work for the landfill? Work for sanitation department? Mm, I, I see a connection. It's there hasn't been too much media coverage in this one yet. So. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll definitely right. figure that out, though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're thinking if the boyfriend did it um, well before she was ever reported missing. So she's been going a oh, while, yeah. and yeah. she's been put yeah. in a landfill with red dirt surrounding yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And then he he he's the one that cleaned out her apartment, and that's the reason why the bleach in the shoes. That's all his uh -huh. doing, right? Uh, there was another woman okay. helping him do this. There was another woman uh, helping him do okay. this. Okay. Yeah. So another office. woman. A black, Did a she black die at woman. Home? It... Mm -hmm. No, I got in a car. Did Brianna die at home? In a car. In a car. I got like he killed her in a car. 
And, Did she get into the or, car voluntarily, or was she pushed into the car? No, I think she was with him to meet him, or maybe he. she was in a car with him and then went back up to the apartment. Things escalated. Things uh, things were already heated in the car. Got Went back up to her place. Things escalated. Um, he killed her. And then I think they left and then they came back later and cleaned it yes, up. This wasn't she, a premeditated month. thing. This was a, uh, uh, you know, in anger, he, yeah. he struck up. In and, anger. And yeah. And came back and, and cleaned it up. Yeah. Cleaned it up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And he is well, with this other woman now. This other woman helped clean it up. Could it have so been he's with her, mother? meaning like they're in a relationship? I think so. Yeah. Well, he has custody of their kids. So I think we, we could hurry this up a little bit uh, and figure this out because it's a four year old kid. It, 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 you know, it might be with a sociopath mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, for well, sure. It's never the ending I wanted, but that one just sounded like uh, it was kind uh, of a landfill, yeah. landfill, landfill, landfill with red dirt, huh? Landfill with red dirt. And there's not many places that have red dirt. It's like rust color. In Georgia, they're not. I'm I'm from the way north. Mm -mm. So. Mm -mm. No, there's yeah, not. I live north of Canada. Not. Ooh, I'm cold already. Thinking hmm. about it. Clayton County. <laughs> Let's look at what the dirt cold? looks like. Oh, yeah, let, yeah, I'm freezing. Well, that's usually spirit too. So, just so you know, everybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, landfills in Clayton County, Georgia, because yeah, maybe there's there's some, but um, yeah. Uh, how do you think she got? Did she get to the landfill? Did was she thrown into the garbage and then they dumped her? Is that kind of what we're looking at? Well, I mean, this is a this is where you go and dump your own garbage. Okay. Clayton. There are County still landfill. some like that. It's like a landfill. You just yeah, I used drive to have one up in and I, I did. pay pay a fee for a poundage and and you can dump it and drive off. Nobody's there watching. And then I want to show Clayton, you some pictures you know, of the Jessica stack. Okay. Well, I mean that's well, Clayton County landfill. It doesn't look red. It looks pretty. Yeah, so that's probably what we were scribing. I don't want to go through all these landfills, but so we're looking at for a landfill. Uh, do you think? I mean, would the, the trash man dump her there, or you think he he dumped her at the local? He, he dumped her. To the he, he okay, dumped so her, he dumped yeah. her there. Potentially, that that helps because it's not under you know a, a month of industrial trash. So potentially, uh, we could still we could still figure something out here. So that's uh, well, yeah, I got some reading to do tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to help well, lands. Okay, so memory. this would be this is the color of the landfill. The Why is dirt? the soil red in Georgia? It's clay. I think it is iron. Yeah. It's uh, well, yeah, iron oxide. I, I just, yeah, so oh. no, I'm just saying that's the color. Why is the, oh, I thought you wanted the, chemistry. the soil red? <laughs> Granite. Yeah. Okay. Piedmont region. All right. I've uh, I got one more. Let's move on a little bit here. Well, maybe we'll get to some more of this when Mary gets anything else. But I want to throw one more person up here. This is a picture of Susana Al Almanez. Uh, Susana, uh, somewhere near Los Angeles. Susana is a 15-year-old mother. Um, and her baby, Jason, a uh, fairly newborn baby, uh, from Lancaster, California, and there's there's really very little to go on here, but uh, she's gang, uh, gang. missing and is in trouble. What? Gang, gang, what gang, gang. I just got gang. Like the father was in prison. The father was a gangbanger in prison. I think he got out. Something with a man, a father of the child. But it's. I don't think it's. I don't know if it was Latin or Asian, but I got gangbanger, prison, and he got out. And she's missing. How about the kid? Um, yeah, they're both missing. Um, 
Yeah, they're they're desperately searching for both of them. Um, do yeah. you think maybe the, the father took the kid? Yes, I do. So, is is the kid still around? Do you think that the kid's still alive? I I think so. I think she is dead. Susanna is is gone. I I want to say I think she's dead. A spirit is showing me, like, um, and I don't know. Uh, I don't think it was her doing, but like overdose. I don't think it was her doing. You think Susanna overdosed? I think someone made her overdose or overdosed her. Oh, like somebody uh, gave her a hot dose or, or injected her, perhaps. I mean, yeah, is it, it was yeah. needle drugs. Is that? But I made? got, I got gangbanger, gangbanger, prison. Do we know anything about the father? I mean, she's fifteen, so there's really little, you know, released information. Gangbanger. Um, and really nothing. No, I mean, this has only been uh, Thursday last week when she was. It's only been a few days. I'm just. I'd love to see a, a, a better outcome here, but uh, potentially we could save the kid if she, if she's already gone though. Yeah. Okay. So um, I see water. I see a um, lake. Where is she from? Okay. What was that noise? Wow. Lancaster, California. What 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 was so, that um, noise? Did I hear a pond? I believe Lancaster. Did I hear pond? Did you guys hear that noise? Did you? Uh, I, I think we got something else I'm going to have to track down later. I didn't hear anything. I heard. Um, somebody's I heard asking questions right now. Pond. I heard. I heard. Um, uh, yeah. Pond. What, what's going on, Brooke? Um, Sebastian Roberts Rogers. Um, there's updates on that. Can we get anything? Do you see anything? Who? You got to show me a picture again, because you know I see so many pictures every day. Oh, oh, Sebastian Rogers. Yeah, give me a second. I wasn't. Yeah, I, know. Like someone, I didn't even know who he was. So, um, so someone's. Oh, he was the boy from Tennessee, the autistic teen. Yeah. Just okay. One second, I'll get a picture of him up on the screen for us. So this yeah, we girl did this, five uh, days ago. About a month ago. Right, right before well, we leave, this visit. girl with the update. baby. Water. Five update? days ago. What do we have? A lake pond. Water. Lake water pond. Yeah, lake. Lake, hotel, lake, gangbanger, prisoner, um, and it's a guy, a guy from jail, a guy, a guy, a jailbird got out. Okay, I heard, I heard, I distinctly heard this, pond, and I thought you guys heard it. You heard, oh. I heard, no. yeah, no, you can hear No, no, I didn't. You can hear it if you play back our video after we get off the air. You'll be able to hear. Oh, I'll Pond. try. I'll try. I'll like, try if it, I'll make us another I short. Yeah, I don't I have to. I'm, I'm, com I'm combining Brooke. all of the, the weird things she's recorded. My earpiece isn't working, so I can't hear anything. I, I thought it came from Brooke. I heard. Fun. Okay. So, Thank um, you. Yeah, maybe her uh, headphones died. I don't know. All right, let me uh, get a. A picture of Sebastian up here so to remind me so we what we're talking about here. All right. We got an update on him. What's the update? What's the update on that uh, that that Sebastian Rogers? No, oh. I'm reading. Maybe. Oh, she's looking at the update. Apparently, uh, one of our viewers. But, uh, so I got he, go the, uh, There's inaccurate information about it. Oh, so, okay. So we can't we can't trust it until. Yeah, let me, I, I did. Okay, here, I did want to share Sebastian. You. This is this is Sebastian. Uh, uh, and don't let me forget. I remember to him show here. You this is Sebastian other. Rogers from Tennessee. I can't even remember what spirit showed me because you know while they're, oh the proud foot yeah the parents the the the. I the think mom. this one wandered off. But the, uh, it wasn't it a wandered off and near the water and the mom? Um, the, she, they're blaming the parents. She felt know. guilty but wasn't quite responsible. I thought it was something like that. They're blaming that. the parents, but they left. The parents, I guess, skipped town. Oh, this is no. The, the, the harassment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fucking assholes. 
<laughs> but I, yeah, Mrs. I don't know Proudfoot was... said she had taken and passed a polygraph, but but Mr. Denton. The the update is that we can't make speculations. Basically, we're make you know we're making assumptions, and the media has gotten too involved in this. I love speculating, so I can speculate a lot. I, I'm not a speculator. So that's what they're saying. I mean, if they were if they were worth any shit as parents, you know, and autistic had, kid, had you got to put precautions this. up. Come on. Okay, so um, I know we're going to take a little bit of a break from missing people here. I'm going to do You're something a little bit home. different. Wait, I got wait. Something. I wanted to show you this on Jessica Stacks. Okay. okay. They found this, a shovel, right? Where oh, that's on okay. the river. Okay, there's a shovel. Oh, hang on. What? Wrong way. Wrong way. There we go. What's that? Wait a minute. Let me go turn it this way. What is that? Can you guys see what that is? A fishing camera, a camera that they found. Okay. This is kind of where I, I originally thought there he is. That's There's, Jerry. Yeah. That's guy. Jerry, you're going down, Jerry. There you go. That's your Billy, Billy Jack, whatever his name is, Billy Bob. I I don't like this guy either, but I'm I cannot say that he did it. Okay. So there she is, guys. That's your that's, crackhead? Yep, that's the crack whore. Crack whore. All right. That's what, that's what Spirit said. As a matter of fact, what did Jessica Jessica said? Um, um she called her oh um candy. Something candy. She Spirit said Candace, and then she had a specific nickname for candy and i god dang i can't think of it it was it wasn't crazy candy it may it may have been that but it was um i forgot i forgot but the but but when i was asked about who who was involved and i said somebody named candace somebody named candace and um but something I, and i'll have to go back and ask the family rep what did i call what did jessica call candy because i knew the nickname for candy i knew it and it came from jessica and i said this to the family spokesperson so I knew that's how I knew I was talking to Jessica Stack. Well, I, I'm certain if we, we talk, I, I think next mother, if she's still pretty active in this case, I'm sure she will. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if we can reach yeah, out to Scott Peterson's family. family. Yeah. We, we need to help the cops get a little bit of yeah. Wait, I lost you, Jeff. I lost your mic. Oh, my mic got lost. I just said we need to help the cops get a little bit more evidence on these jackasses, and uh, let's do what we can. So, oh, yeah. yeah, um, you have to send me those pictures. I want to geotag them and see where exactly they were picked up from because I that doesn't look like the area that she was reported last seen. Um, so I'll you know, we'll we'll dig into this some more, but I want to talk about one more thing. It's really been burning out. There is a case in the news the last two weeks that is so convoluted, and there's so many rumors um. going on. Um, P. Diddy. Um, I know this isn't missing people, but P. Diddy, uh, I just want to do a brief what I know about it. Right now, P. Diddy, there's been lawsuits. It looked like it started out as his um, a lawsuit from his uh, his longtime girlfriend, uh, beautiful girl, uh, for uh, you know sexual assault and, and beating her and all kinds of stuff. This is uh, P. Diddy's uh, girlfriend. Uh, of uh, like 10 years that uh, sued him um, and he settled the case like the next day in 2018. And sure. that is what really what started everything. Um, right now, the, the he hasn't been charged with anything yet. There's been no charges. There's been a lot of lawsuits, a lot of uh, uh, accusations, and the cops have uh, they ser uh, served a warrant on him. Apparently, yeah. he's looking at charges of sex trafficking, sexual assault, drugging people against their will, uh, underage girls, drug dealing, um, blackmail. It's a very convoluted case. Um, there's his son is involved, and he's claiming 
through to people that he's got video of his house of princes and preachers and famous people, CEOs on tape, uh, abusing girls, um, accusations that he drugged people against their will to get blackmail material. This is so convoluted. It sounds like, it sounds like Epstein. Kind yeah, of. it sounds worse than Epstein. We're involved in Epstein. Um, just, I, I mean, Mary, what do you, what do you, see, what do you make out of this? What do you see, Mary? Diddy did it. <laughs> okay, stop. Okay, go back to Diddy. Go back, go to, back the to the Diddy? other photo. The other one. The other one. Oh, okay. Hang on. Go back to the, yeah, that one right there. Okay. So that one. Okay. So who, there is a man that stands behind Diddy, P. Diddy. There is a guy that stands behind him, wears a suit or did wear a suit that was uh, a longtime partner or friend that has since kind of stepped away in wake of all of this because P. Diddy left a lot of arrangements up to this man. And what I want to know is who is this other man? There's another man involved in here. Okay. Yeah. And is it his manager? Is it an executive in his organization? Is Someone it a confidant? Is it, huh? What, Brooke? Someone in music? Yes. A record exec, perhaps? Could be. Okay. Where's the suit? Where's the suit? Um, any, what is it? Management. Like? Management. Is it lawyer? Lawyer? Could be. Wow. Maybe, lawyer, maybe an agent? Hmm. Yeah. Wow. But you think but in that thing he's been involved? It, it sounds like uh, there's accusations everywhere. This has been going on a long time. Um, a year, a decade more. Um, yeah. There's uh, one thing. Cent. I saw a comment on Instagram the other day. Fifty cents ex-wife um, was um, with P Diddy or Who's or Kim doing. Porter? Is that the is that the ex of P Diddy or the one of Fifty Cent or well, the, the ex of P Diddy, the, the pretty girl I showed that that was. Uh, is that Kim? Candy. No, that was Cassie, uh, Cassie, Cassandra or something. Uh, she, but she, there's she, another man behind P. Diddy. There is another man that P. Diddy sees and uh, kind of P. Diddy kind of leaves it all up to him. And and he's in the background. And this man. Oh, is this mostly like little boys? Is that what's going on? It's girls. It's oh. girls. Girls. I'm sorry, Mary. Girls. You um. There's there's a lot of uh, accusations going on. Is this a, people are accusing saying P Diddy has been an FBI informant for a while? Is that something you see? Um, unless they had something on him. I'm 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 I just we need to look at this other man behind P Diddy. I want to see pictures of P. Diddy's colleagues, like business colleagues. Okay. So you're thinking that uh, there's a guy. I mean, you got an idea of what he looks like? The, I mean, you said he was in a suit, right? Yeah, in a suit. He he could be Hispanic. Let me see. Let me see if I can get a clear picture of him. Okay. Dark hair. I want to say he's Latin or Hispanic. Oh, I, I just need to see pictures of his colleagues. I'll be able to pick him out. Okay. In a lineup. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, they, they're claiming um, they have a uh, British Royal family on tape that they have uh, CEOs, the record of companies, CEOs on tape. They have a famous preacher on tape. Uh, there's been a lot of speculation who they're talking about. Yeah. Um, it, is this, does this, do they have this amount of blackmail material or is this just uh, people throwing stuff around? You know, I think it's a lot of you're going to there's a lot of hype out there, a lot of but there are videotapes out there. There are videotapes out there um, and there's going to be a lot of videotapes that are hidden. And this manager, this executive for P. Diddy is making sure that a lot of it gets destroyed, won't be shown um, so that they can't really uh, disrupt 
P. Diddy's empire that much, there there is a lot of stuff being yeah, destroyed. Yeah. 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 Is. Um, so you see the gentleman being bald with a beard, perhaps? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Give me a minute here. Let me confirm. I don't want to smear anybody, yes. but yeah, give me one second before I, uh, should we, should we, what? No, I'm going to wearing say, a suit. Wearing oh boy. Okay. So I got a guy for you. Suit. So, all right. Wearing an expensive. I am ready to, to name names. Okay, so a gentleman named Wasim Slahabi, S-L-A-I-B-Y. Wasim Slahabi. Let me get a picture of him up on the screen for you, Mary, and see if this guy doesn't uh, ring a little bit of a bell. And this guy, this is actually Diddy's manager. Uh, I don't know if he still is his manager, but he was hired by Diddy to be his manager at one point. And let me get a picture of this uh, handsome gentleman. How old is he? On the screen, 47, um, 48, 40s, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna put them up here in a second. Well, 47, 48. Is he wearing, does he have a colored, does he have a colored kerchief in his pocket, his, his suit pocket? I've got lots of pictures of him, and not that I can see. Okay, let's uh, see. Me, I okay. uh, think real faster. Right? Take this off. Take this off. All right, just about right here. Okay, so I'm going to put a picture up of this this guy. This is P Diddy. I mean, he's not only P Diddy's uh, manager. He's been doing. He's done a lot of managing. So this is. Oh uh, God! Uh, yeah. Uh, oh man. Wasim oh, Sal Slaabi. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You think this is him, mm -hmm. huh? Yep. Yeah. Can we find a picture of him in a suit? That's him. That is him. Uh, I thought he was black, but then I realized no, was he's like yeah, he's Lebanese apparently. Okay. He's fairly I mean, he's fairly he's he's a Lebanese man. He's fairly dark skin though. Yeah, I'm trying to find a picture of him in a suit. You're looking for well, a picture you said of Hispanic, so like similar skin tone. Yeah, yeah, that was him. That's him. Um, I, I've got him in, in suit coats. Looking for him in a Has tie. he fled? Has he fled? Has he left? Does um, anybody know where he is? I, he's managing like Doja Cat, so I, you know, he's the CEO of XO. Um, he is a what's XO? Oh, that shows your uh, a, a record, uh, record label. Um, yeah. he's he co founded it with The Weeknd in 2011. Um, mm -hmm. so this is Wasim Slabi. Uh, he founded XO The Weeknd 2011 and he did it's in a partnership with Universal Records. Uh, he is he's he has managed Doja Cat, Nicki Minaj, Diddy, uh, MIA. There's I something. Love. Brady. Yeah, there's uh, something with him, like he knows, but it's like the, he was the guy behind Diddy, P. Diddy, that I'm seeing. Um, so his knowledge is vast. He knows a lot about uh, Diddy. Oh, uh, yeah. What he's been up to. Yep. Maybe he's managed him in the past, and I think he... He doesn't manage him anymore. Am well, I don't I think he wants to be manager of Diddy right now. I mean, he's not really making money. He's not well, going to make money. Was he even relevant? He hasn't been relevant since the 90s, right? Uh, he hasn't done anything of his own. Oh, but Kim, I think Kim Porter is not alive. Who? Kim Porter is not alive. I thought she was alive. No. Okay. I uh, anyway. knew nothing about Kim Porter. Who's um, Kim Porter? It's Diddy's ex. That sold him out, I guess. I mean, they said, huh. No, Diddy's ex that sold him out was uh, her name was uh, Cassandra. Uh, okay, Kim Porter's Diddy's ex who died. Oh, no, Cassandra stole it. Cassandra, the, the beautiful girl he was standing with, was Cassandra Ventura, is her name. And uh, yeah, she's the one that, that initially sued him and kind of started this ball rolling, I think. I think somebody saw that he settled in a day and said, 
if he settles that in a day, you know, maybe I should sue him for doing what he did to me. And it just, the lawsuits began to pile up. It was up. like a Me Too thing. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I don't think people were after money. I think people realized you could you could get money or that he was, you know, he wasn't going uh, to smear you. Maybe they didn't want it to happen to anybody else. Yeah. Awful. So, yeah, that I mean, that's what we're seeing in P. Diddy. Um, I don't, it, that's, you know, Spirit showed a, 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 that guy resembles the guy Mary was talking about. So yes, I don't want to. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yeah, we got to find out more about what um, yeah, seems. Uh, that was just Mary, something I threw up there. I think she's yes, her necklace. Yes, he anyway. does. Um, yeah, uh, awesome. seems, I don't really, uh, we'll, we'll dig into more about what seems. Maybe he might not be the guy, just resembles him. Uh, yeah, Mary is in, imperfect because she's human and she sees visions and she sees um, and it's her interpretations of what she sees. So I don't want to say Wasim, um, don't go, don't go, uh, don't you know, us. mess uh -huh. with his kids or anything like that. Yeah, um, no, no. I just until I figure behind it, yeah. P. Diddy and he has vast amounts of knowledge. And I, I do feel like this person behind, there's a, a person behind P. Diddy. Now, could it be, does he have a father? Is his father still alive? The P. Diddy? person. Yeah, P. Diddy, who is like a father figure to him. Who's Diddy's daddy? Well, he's got his son is is totally involved in everything. Um, and it, it sounds like he's going to go, um, going to be on the indictment whenever it gets made up. So. Oh, wow. So it, it, uh, his daddy, the P. Diddy's daddy. Who is P. Diddy's dad? I don't know. Diddy daddy. His name is it's Melvin Peter Earl Peter. Combs. And he he's been dead for a long time. He died in seventy two. So yeah, Melvin. Okay, all right. So yeah, it okay. wasn't Melvin. He's he's innocent. No, no, he's innocent. But this think, is I mean, like a father figure. Seen is, is Diddy and his son? Um, he you know Diddy's potentially uh, his son. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, his son. Yes. Yeah, he's definitely involved. I mean, that, that's that's yeah. Yeah. Involved. Yeah. But there's another. Okay, so we got that manager guy. Okay, maybe. Uh, yeah, but there is also someone else, and I want to know who his attorney is. I want to see a picture of P. Daddy's attorney. Um. Well, he's probably busy these days. Let's see. Oh, sure. his parents, I mean, he's. <laughs> that I'm sure would be he's an understatement. Busy. Um, yeah, did he's lawyer. well, he's got a current lawyer. Let me get his lawyer's name. His lawyer's current name is Aaron Dyer. Wow, I don't, I I don't know if that has been his attorney a for a of, long time. I get Aaron a lot Dyer, of dings on that. Aaron Dyer. Yeah, a lot a of like Dyer. ding, 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 ding. Um, I want to make sure I get the right Aaron Diary because uh, that I, I yeah, don't want to throw the wrong these. things. Let up me there. see. Um, and while while I'm on here, I just wanted to show you this is the Tallahatchie River, Jessica Stack's case. You see that muddy alligator infested water. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Okay. Moline, Illinois. Is that where Moline? Okay. So Aaron Dyer is a lawyer in Moline, Illinois. Is that correct? So I'm just trying to make sure I have the correct Aaron Dyer before I put him up there. He did. He's a lawyer. But he, he is currently Diddy's attorney. I think he may have retained him recently. So this may be chasing the, uh, our tail because um, he's a criminal attorney. So I wouldn't imagine he would have needed. Well, maybe he would. Uh, yeah. Criminal attorney. Um, Did I have a hit or something? Like Diddy's lawyer fires back after. Uh, yeah, I don't. Um, yeah, his. Um, I'm not saying. I don't want to. I don't get Aaron it. Is Los Angeles. Oh, Pittman. Pillsbury Winston Shaw Pittman is the law firm. Okay. Pillsbury Winthrop Shaw Pittman. Okay, it looks like an expensive law firm. Okay, so now we're looking for Aaron Dyer, who works for that law firm. I'm glad I didn't put the guy from Moline, Illinois up. I put some weirdo that you're like, yeah, that's, that's not the guy, dude. <laughs> okay, so I've got a, okay, Aaron Dyer. 
This is his current corporate investigation in the white collar defense. So this is a defense attorney that uh, TB Diddy um, has retained or has been for a while. Mm -hmm. Let me throw a picture of that uh, sexy brother up there. Here we go. Okay. And Aaron. is this him? What's that? Is that him? That's him. That's Diddy's current attorney. Is his lawyer right now? Aaron oh, Byer. that guy. That guy right there. Yeah. Um, you think he's he's dirty? No, no, absolutely oh. not. No. Nope. Oh, he, no. he's he's cool, Aaron. Yeah, yeah. This guy is good. Yeah. This guy is by the book. All right. good. Innocent Aaron, good job. You You're innocent, good. Aaron. Good job. You're leading a good life. Yeah. No. He's probably getting nervous is, if he's watching a podcast. This is like, someone. Say, gonna get this is someone um, uh, um, in P. Diddy circle, but on the outside of the circle. This is someone that P. Diddy goes to when he wants things done. I mean, he represents. Mark Garagos represented him once. I yeah. mean, I don't know if you know he's what Mark really Garagos looks like. He uh, yeah. he represented Scott Peterson. Oh, but, that's the, right. but this guy is like, and I want to say he's head of something on the outside, and he's always been like a mentor to P Diddy. He's been a mentor, but I'm getting like this guy. He knows he knows things. He's definitely involved. Um, let me see. Mm -hmm. see people. Okay, there's Ray Dalio. They say he's a mentor. Let me see Ray Dalio. He's a mentor. Let's see if I see a know. picture of him. Let me see this guy. He stands. Oh. Like they had a meeting in, like, I want to say PD. I see a bunch of glass that overlooks this beautiful woodlands. Beautiful. Maybe that's in California. Big glass. Okay, modern. let's take a peek at Ray Dalio. Um, like there was a meeting. So Ray Dalio. Well, they just, I mean, I, I, all I did was Google his mentor, and this is a person he, he has called his mentor. His name is Ray Dalio. This guy give any creeps to you? Yeah. Ray? There he is. Oh, Ray. No. Mm -mm. No. I get. No? He does. Mm -mm. Ray's innocent. No, he's not innocent. Okay, but well, this he's, he's is been not the guy. I'm, I'm, this is not the guy Ray's I'm good. seeing. This is not the guy I'm seeing. This guy's got dark hair. I want to say maybe he's black. So, I mean, I'm sure other people, okay, will, the, it'll come out. Is it, is it a black guy you said? Yes. Okay, I got. Let's try this guy. Fifty Cent. Uh, if you're watching, maybe you could help me out with <laughs> pictures. Fifty Cent was watching. I'd be pretty stoked. Yeah. All right. Let me let me try one one more guy here. Oh, this guy is dead. Okay. Uh, Andre Harrell is dead. Um, I just got his picture from his. Uh, but Andre let me let me Harrell. see if uh, maybe this guy wasn't it because he was another guy that's been called a mentor to Diddy. Um, hang on, I got it, like when you decide um, that we're going off. I have one more thing to say about um, that Sebastian. So you know, well, oh, I'm getting this up. Um, Talk about Sebastian. Apparently, searchers are out looking for him right now. Yeah, is he alive or? What do you see, Mary? I just see he was laying like this, like this, arms she by the told, side. She, I remember she said that it was three and a half miles from his house. It was near the water's edge and near the forest's yeah. edge. So it was a clearing yeah. in a forest arms near like the water, this. and he was lying yeah. face arms up. Like this. And there was Sorry, a, like a cliff, a cliff side or a, on the river, something like that. And the parents yeah. weren't involved. Um. I, I just see like he went out like a, a scout. Like, why did I see scout? I remember scout the word scout last time. Scout. Yeah. What does saying, that though? have I, I to do I with had, it? Uh, speculated that it was maybe, maybe, I mean, the kid was known to wander. Um, okay. So maybe he, 
he was he had yeah, wandered off. I guess it wasn't unusual. I for think that he was taken from his bedroom. I just got laying um, laying straight like that. I don't. But and then I see a lot of trees, tiny oh, little no, hill, and home. then the water. Let me put up. Hang on, I know there's a little non sequitur here but this is a picture of another guy so andre harold this guy is deceased uh, but he, he's also been involved with diddy yes, andre that's any... who i'm seeing was that that was who i was seeing. this is him that was him okay okay this is andre huh Beautiful. That's who I was seeing. So uh, Andre's, so, uh, Andre's he's deceased. He died uh, 2020. This? 2020. So he's been dead a few years. But you're thinking he oh, probably yeah. was well involved. I mean, this this has Over been going on much year. longer than, than that. Yeah, so thinking, yeah, absolutely. Yes. That's who Andre I was Harris. seeing. That's who I still see Founder. around him. Founder of Uptown Records. I was shown an image of this man standing facing diddy and they were having a meeting like maybe at diddy's la home if he's got a home in la i think he does have a home in la like this man was and look at the look see Problem. look he's got a handkerchief in his lapel like i said i said there he, you wore, go. he wore a handkerchief in his lapel that's so, him. Uh, maybe we're off of the uh are we are we uh, uh, saying Wasim? Are, are we are we uh, uh, saying Wasim is is not the guy at this oh, point? Knows we have. Oh no, he knows some. Oh yeah, he he yeah, definitely knows. knows. Oh yeah, he knows. Oh, you knows. think Wasim knows? Okay, so we're not yeah. totally vindicating Wasim yet. No, nuh uh right. Nor uh uh no, not done with him. Mm 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 mm. Nope, not done with him that's at all. That's the man I was seeing around Diddy. Okay. And that's in the past. I think maybe this is when Andre it, how, how long has it been going on? How long has this stuff been going on? Oh, at least a decade, if, if, if it's true. I mean, it was in 2018 that the, the lawsuit started. So I, it's probably been going on longer than 10 years. Okay. Yeah. And see, that was the, the lapel. I kept seeing a lapel with with a handkerchief in it. But I saw colored at one point. Yeah, like from from where I'm looking at, this guy is usually dressed to the nines, usually wearing a tuxedo, a suit, or whatever. Yep. And yep, yeah, yep. usually has a pocket square. Yep, that's him. That's him. That's who I saw. Wow, yep. Andre. Okay, well, he was the founder of Uptown Records, mm -hmm. uh, and he helped launch. I mean, he helped. He was around in the beginning with P. Diddy. So, yeah, Andre was very involved in his life and his career. And yep. uh, he would have been, yeah, he'd be like 64. So, yeah, he died. He was just like 59 when he died. Uh, May 7th, oh. when he passed away. Um, um, I would say, let's just say he matriculated to hell. <laughs> if this is true what they're saying about this guy. But yeah, that um, that would be. I, I haven't heard that guy's name attached to any of the stories. I'm gonna uh, see. If he I knew can't, about uh, put, it. He you know, knew. Some, he knew. He he knew about it. Potentially was about it, but yeah. I mean, I'm like seeing. I'm seeing P Diddy and him at P Diddy's house in L.A. Or it could have been at his house. I don't know where he lived, but it's like full of glass. It's all glass. And it overlooks the hills. Is it Hollywood Hills? Overlooks the woods. Beautiful, beautiful view. Um, but it's all glass. All glass facing the wood wooded area. I would love to know whose house that was. But P. Diddy is there. He's got his back to me. And I can clearly see the other man there. It's like I'm a fly on the wall watching this. I mean, this hmm. is, uh, and I mean, this is uh, P. Diddy's meeting with this guy at potentially his house, uh, Andre Harrell. Yeah. Yeah. This investigation at all? I have not heard his name attached to anything at this point. Um, I'll certainly try to attach it, though. <laughs> I'm so behind in all this stuff. Right, do do we have Mr. Andre? But yeah. He, Andre yeah. usually wears a, a 
suit in a in a pocket square just like you um, said Mary. it's bright colored in one of them was it a blue in one did he, did he always wear white pocket square because i got he's in a black suit with a uh blue or turquoise colored pocket square um yeah he doesn't always wear a white pocket square but okay. I'm looking for a blue. That's him. yeah it looks like That's he's an accessorizer yeah Mm -mm. Generally, mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. yeah he usually has a pocket now it looks like a white white no he's got yeah he's got well he, i've got a picture of him with a uh, a white a white blazer on with a dark pocket square but so yeah he definitely is a pocket square guy fits the bill that's who i'm seeing around p daddy who okay, i saw Harold. around p daddy okay that would certainly make a lot of sense because he's been with p daddy for a long time so um, Andre Harrell, guilty perhaps. What seems maybe those too much. And P. Diddy did it. And his son. P. Did Diddy it. did it. And Diddy he's did an it. FBI uh, informant. Or, no, he's not an FBI informant as far no. as you know. Okay. It's like Wait, Epstein. It could be just no, no. Th th this was recently. It could be his his entourage trying to, to muddle the waters, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's certainly uh, a lot to, yeah. to work around, and you get a, even more. So gigantic case um, i mean i mean this just shows you how desperate people are to become famous you know that they get trapped up in this it's like you know when i was super super young and i know it's hard to believe people but when i was i was a gorgeous redhead when i was super super young and i was working at a bar and these two men came in and one of them handed me a card and they came back the next day and asked me, was I interested? And I said, oh, I'd have to think about it. And I threw the card in the trash. It was Playboy magazine. And I thought, no way, man. You know, I said, I, I'm up here. I'm not down here, guys. You know, and, and yeah, I have I wasted a lot of opportunity. You betcha I have. But that just shows you how desperate people are to become famous that they get trapped in this like yeah. you know and 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 it's not worth it yeah Find if, another um, route. if you've got a child going into acting you need to go in with wide eyes oh, wide open that is I'll a look at justin Bieber thing. right now so, yeah I, I don't even i mean that. come on what's the it, price of fame worth I, I don't know. They, someone needs to clean up the industry. Those people, you should not have that amount of power. Um, I'll clean them up. Just show them. A, show me a picture of them. I'll tell the world what I see. Yeah, we're naming names. And uh, good thing oh, about yeah. suing me. I ain't got much, so go ahead and sue me. <laughs> oh, you know. Uh, yeah, oh, my God. That's what Jessica Stacks called candy. Crack-ass candy. <laughs> Crack-ass candy. <laughs> so crack -ass Crack-ass candy. Jessica said that. She oh, I, she said that to like to you like when you the, were work on the working the case when I first got the case, and I was describing this woman that was involved. Okay, I that hadn't seen candy. pictures or anything. I heard the word Candace. Spirit goes Candace. I said, "Was there a Candace involved?" I know her name started with a C. And the family spokesperson said yes. And oh, I said, so Jessica has Candace a is... nickname for it. It's called One of the Crack people. Crack Candy. Oh, crack she ass candy. About she was talking about. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The girl's name. All right. Well, uh, we you have... know, I'm telling you, this is from Spirit. Okay. And Spirit mm -hmm. talks through me, but I can't guarantee you what Spirit's going to say. I mean, Spirit right. never lies. I am human. I make mistakes, but spirit is never wrong. I may be wrong in how I interpret what I'm seeing, but they usually so show sign symbols and imagery. Okay. Right. And so spirit is never wrong. Never. They are all knowing on the other side. Yeah. Often uh, I'll, um, we'll be, me and Mary will be playing around with with uh, cases. I'll throw her a picture, and she'll say, "Yeah, that's him." But then, like, she, no, 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 that's not him. But but it looks like him. But yeah, yeah, I mean, she's going off of images, and then I think often she gets corrected as she's speaking and says, "No, that's not him." 
So that you know, it, it happens often. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I it's uh, it's a fun gift to play with. I got to say. Oh my God. Well, name I, I yeah. do get corrected, but I'm telling you that guy around P Diddy knew it. That guy around Pity now knows it. Um, P Diddy's son is very much part of it. The people that killed Jessica Stacks, I'm not backing down because Jessica is the one that told me, showed me far more than anyone would ever know, never having even looked at the case. Mm -hmm. I prefer sure. not knowing anything before I take on a case. I don't want to know anything about it. I will yeah. tell you what spirit shows. Yeah, I intentionally will leave out details when I throw a case at yeah. Mary live that she hasn't heard before just to kind of see where she goes with it. And then I'm, oh, yeah, the stepmom was, the, oh, yeah, a lot of times so she'll kind of, uh, you know. She doesn't know about any of this. <laughs> uh, yeah. I got to get as much as I can out because she'll fill in. She'll fill me in before I finish the story. But, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's. Go. Uh, we are we are quite behind. We have gone actually an extra half hour today. We had a lot to say today. Oh, so wow. we have a bunch of Our monsters to chase. In there, though, and we got Scott Peterson to save. So Scott, not a great guy, but I'll we're on your the bell. Um, the Innocence Project. I hope they work their asses off, get this guy to jail, and let's find this hairy loser plumber desert, desert, man. Desert. Put him in the fucking clink. Yeah. And let's desert. find out who else he hurt too. All right. So let's get some justice for all these people, but especially Lacey Peterson, because she fucking deserves it. Yeah, yeah she does. Down with that. She does. That family, yeah. All right, that's about all the time we have. We got anything? Any more announcements? I, I know, Mary, you we wanted to to plug your uh, your London thing. Is that? Uh, yeah, right? yeah. I'm going to London the um, 18th. Oh, the 19th. I'll be in London. I will be there um, um, protesting with the families that have lost loved ones to the serial killer in the River Thames. Right. Um, so come out and see me. We are protesting the London Bridge, 12 o'clock on the 20th. Okay, okay. so it's, it was New Scotland Yard. You're actually going to on London Bridge now. Right? London Bridge, 20th, noon. Yeah. Okay, 20th noon, Greenwich time, uh, London on April 20th. Right. Uh, we, we, we're going to try to work out logistics and get some type of uh, live video from the event or from the from London. Uh, right. No promises, right. but, you know, we got our tech people on it. But, yeah, so um, April 20th, you make it out to London to go uh, show some support and, and tell the police to get off their asses and catch this guy. Um, we're still working on that case, and we're still chasing. We've got people, and we've got stuff. So next week, we're going to get some more on the London case. we got some right. more stuff next week. So we got a lot of... And next week we got another um, another big case you've gotten wrong for a long time. Oh, I'm not yeah. going to tell you what, but there's another case. Yeah, we've been wrong. Huge, um, huge. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're wrong a we, lot. We're wrong on Scott wrong? Peterson. I've been wrong. I've been no, wrong. No no, 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 no. We have been wrong. Humanity has been wrong. Oh, <laughs> and you're going to correct everybody, wrong. just like you did with David Scott. So yeah, we were wrong for 25 years with Scott. This and, is going to uh, cause a lot of uproar too. Just letting you know. But yeah, we got a bunch cool. of stuff. So we got a lot more for you. Plenty <laughs> of stuff to go. But uh, tune in next week, Sunday, 3 p.m. Uh, uh, anybody have anything else to plug? Are we uh, we good to go, guys? Yeah. Um, anybody has a missing person, email the real Mary the medium at gmail.com and we will write you back. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, always. We always love to get live. It's oh. always better if we have some live stuff on the air. We got some viewer submissions, didn't have time to kind of get them up, but we'll get to those next week. No problem. But tune in a week from now. Mary, uh, Mary, what do you see? And uh, appreciate you all coming. Thank you. Have a nice week, everyone. Hey, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mary.